Uh, let's go. Ah, j'appuie vers le bas. Soit on avait le choix, c'est ça que j'ai pas compris. He really did it. Tyr really slept in my broom closet. Is that normal for you tall, godly sorts? Or just the ones locked up for a lifetime or two? On est en partie. Right behind you. I'll meet you at the gateway presently, friends. Il va partir sans venir. Sir? 
Mind if I take a little peek at you? I promise I'll be brief. My goodness, what a strapping physique. Capable of an astounding variety of acts of violence, I imagine. What is happening? Uh, this must be the squirrel that tames the world tree. That delectable aroma. Could it be? Pardon the intrusion. Mm. Ah, yes. Amber resin. Delightfully nutty with a hint of squid ink. No. Not one for gastronomic expiration, I see. Wait, if you're ratted Hosker, why are you so different when we summon you for help? It's a long story. <laughs> but you are correct. I am indeed Radit Hosker. The one you know as Radit Hosker is merely one of my spectral aspects. And a particularly nasty one at that. I consider him so far removed from myself that he's practically a different person. Speaking of... Bitter, would you like to come out and see your friends? Back off! I'm busy! I suppose that was to be expected. Anyway... <laughs> now that I've polished off all this resin for you, would you like the seed back? It is the seed. Indeed. A seed of Yggdrasil, to be precise. <sighs> Since my dwarven tenants performed their little reconfiguration, you'll need seeds like these to open up new destinations on my tree. <laughs> Your tree, huh? <laughs> yes, my tree. Here, let me show you. So that's why good Master Brock needed an Alpine seed. Clearly, you have important matters afoot. That seed you found unlocks Niflheim, of all places. A realm as ancient as it is vaguely sticky. Svartalfheim remains at your disposal if you have unresolved business amongst the dwarves. Was he? No. Nifheim qui a des disponibles les yeux dedans. L'arbre corbeau, la graine du royaume de Ratatorsk. Elle a la reine d'entraînement de Nifheim. On va y aller, on va voir. Si nous n'allons pas aller à Alpha, c'est probablement mieux pour Tyr de attendre pour nous ici. Les soldats que nous avons battus à Svartalfheim, ils étaient à Enriar I thought Anne and Hryar were just spirits in Valhalla until Ragnarok comes. They were no spirits. Indeed, brother. Odin appears to have found a loophole. Activated his forces early as a standing army. Perhaps something he could only do without any honest Valkyries around to stand in his way. to be here? Creeping me out, all these poor bastards with their souls cut up. Uh, Brock, what do you think about fate? I don't. Either your life's all written down somewhere or it ain't. Still feels like you're making choices either way. The shit smells the same regardless of how it got shat. Remind me to write that down. There's something over here. Ah, a memory of war. You could use this as a training arena if you like. You'll just be fighting the recollections of enemies. They won't be able to harm you. Who is 
de l'entraînement en soi. Ça va aller, merci. Oh. What do you think that means? I don't know, but there's definitely something more going on here. Oh. C'est intéressant sur les corbeaux. Attends, je du tout. 528. 548. Et là c'est pareil en fait, 528 c'est un bien, en 5 sur 6. Ok. On va grand chose de l'entraînement, juste pour se taper pour le plaisir. I can forge some new stuff. Seems like you might need the help. And the kid? What are you looking for? C'est épreuve ou c'est de l'entraînement Je crois pas. Autre chose. L'arène d'entraînement permet d'essayer de perfectionner vos techniques de combat dans l'arène de disposer d'une santé inépuisable et d'un renouvellement accéléré. Donc c'est pas Ouais, c'est purement de l'entraînement. Le creuser, c'est vraiment le truc. Euh... Oh, ils auraient pu mettre la mission et tout. Mimir, je sais que ça sonne bizarre, mais. Can you tell me again what happens when someone dies? Every living thing has a soul, and every soul has four parts. Form, mind, direction, and luck. Direction steers the souls of giants, dwarves, elves, and animals toward the Lake of Souls in Alfheim, where all the parts may be absorbed back into Alfheim's great light. So that's where Fenrir is? The Lake of Souls? So long as his soul still has its direction, aye. It's well on its way. Mm. 
Пойти ещё. Demir, you were talking about how Fenrir's soul is headed for the light of Alfheim. But that's because he was a wolf, right? Aye. Were he a god or a human who died in battle, a Valkyrie would have taken him to Valhalla or Folkvonger. Had he been a human or god who died outside of battle, he'd be cast down to Helheim. But Fenrir was a wolf, so his soul will join all the others in Alfheim. Like mothers. Yes. Like your mothers. Corbeau, je viens de trouver un quand même. Un corbeau quoi. J'ai vraiment tant de choses à faire ici. Oh, putain, je peux pas en avoir. Je suis fatigué. Je me fatigue. Mimir, you said souls come in four parts. Does that mean you can lose some of your soul? But not all of it? Aye. Form, mind, direction, and luck. Lose any one of them, and the entire being suffers. Still, sometimes luck alone is enough. Just ask your father. My success does not come from luck. Ah, the refrain of the eternally lucky. Father, can we build a lyre together? The instrument. Why? We hunt, we train, 
Those are the only two things you do to distract yourself. They are not distractions. Oh, of course not. I just thought it'd be nice to learn some music. You could teach me, and... No. It's stupid. Never mind. I would speak with you. Here, do you know Ratatoster? Of course. We were just catching up in your absence. Of the squirrels I've conversed with, he's easily the most dapper. Speak. If you are ever in need of my services and I am not present, I have installed these handy chimes for you to notify me. Simply throw your axe and strike the chimes and I will attend to your needs. Would you care to take a practice throw? Mm -hmm. A magnificent throw, Master Kratos. Truly a seasoned pro. Very well. You know how to reach me now. <sighs> what else is there? I have a question. Splendid! I delight in offering my tutelage to the Inquisitive. Over the ledge, by the gateway over there. I noticed these dragons. Dragons! Oh no, young master Atreus. Those are leaned worms, the brood of Neithog. Neithog? That's the mother? Correct. She's also a vital piece of the Yggdrasilian circle of life, as it were. I tend the branches up here, while Neithog chews the roots from below to prevent overgrowth. A delicate balance. So they're friendly? Well, they're not nearly so affable as myself, but there's no reason to expect hostility so long as they're left in peace. Neithog is a stern matriarch. As protective of her offspring as she is determined to teach them proper discipline. That sounds... Familiar. Hmm. Please come back any time. Oh, there we go. as we travel you can tell me the tale of your prior visit to the land of the elves sure i can alfon was the first time we ever roam traveled using your temple Freya tried coming with us but odin cast a spell on her she can't leave midgard that's terrible so then we fought our way through an army of dark elves to get to the light you interfered in the elf war not by choice we sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. The Dark Elves were covering it with their sticky hive stuff. When we freed it, Light Elves came back. They seemed better in Alpha. <laughs> Did they now? Oh, never. Alfheim. It's been so long. Not sure where the temple is from here. That's where we'll find Groa Shrine. Broken history. Aye, not exactly an easy fix for that. the elves continue their war yeah so much for things being better in alpha yikes thimble winter hit alfheim hard no storms have plagued alfheim's deserts long before thimble winter
roving desert. Les chevaux d'elfe pas aimés les plus sacrés, les plus fertiles de la désert, les croix de mes chutueuses. Avgoufas, entendre leur doux chant de sable. D'innombrables tortues, les arts de Ashra, Jarta, les arts de gazelle et des bouquetins qui arpentent les dunes changeantes. La diversité de la vie est exceptionnelle. Toutes les créatures et les désirs sont accordés la vie par la grâce de la lumière. Prenons le temps d'admirer ces grandeurs et pensez-y. Prenez soin de notre royaume. Et... Tout à fait. I'll meet you on the other side. Hold on. I hear something out there. Something big. It's in pain. What do you hear? It feels like some kind of animal. How could anything live in a storm like that? Plenty of caves under the desert. Not exactly a paragon of comfort, but the Dark Elves get on best they can. Perhaps we can reach that brazier from above. Oh, it's not sure we've got Freaking out right now. There, the Temple of Light. Groa's shrine is at the top. Good eye. Bye, Frost Eyes. Is everything okay? Hi, old friend. Just looting no your chests. We'll be right along. My dad likes loot. Uh -oh. Very well. never bothered returning to Alfheim, did he, Mimir? Aye, no. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait, Freya's brother? Yes. Cut from a different cloth, that one. <gasps> <gasps> There's a barricade up ahead. What are those shiny rocks? Twilight stone. A rare material that can take millennia to form. Majestic, isn't it? Occasionally, the light of Alfheim will bind to a rock and crystallize, growing like moss on a fallen tree. Truly a wonder of the Nine Realms. Oh, I didn't know it could 
do that. There's a gap in the fence over there. Ricochet, l'indicateur de ricochet change de couleur quand une cible est alignée. Ripped apart by his audience. Well, one member of the audience. Well, Thor. Oh my god, this. <laughs> Freya's brother. How was he involved? Long ago, Freya of the Vanir traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. mention how that piece fell apart as soon as he left. I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh, no. That's enough, please. We don't need to do this. We don't want to hurt you. We do not have a choice. <laughs> We're the ones who freed the life. <laughs> Us. More will follow once we're inside. Is there truly no other way? Not like they're giving us much of a choice. So your father said. I'm just naive, I suppose. No. Just an 
an optimist, old friend. Tribute to Freya, made by the elves. He must have left it here when he raced back to Vanaheim. What is this? A charm to ward off nightmares. In this case, Freya. Well, knowing the no. elves, there are probably more tributes to find. It's so tall. We came in from the top last time. I didn't realize all this was even down here. It's an older gate, built to promote cooperation between the elves. But it looks like it's been sealed for some time. I'll go first. Atreus, let me know when I've reached halfway. So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freyr was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father, now you go. Unfortunately for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. Hmm. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but... The realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah! And here, you keep pushing forward. Fine work, Atreus. Shall we? Tout était blanc. What's a dark elf statue doing in the light temple? That's just how they looked before the division. The division? Yes. The elves weren't always split between light and dark, you know. This statue depicts the elves before the war. Before they discovered the power of the light. Solid light. Guess some things don't change. Above the door, there's a light crystal. Whoa! Yes. The stone briefly imparts a bit of light to your axe. That's useful. What's that sound? No sense in spoiling the surprise. I've never seen the Lake of Souls so volatile. Aye. Fimpel winter, you reckon? Of course. Making the light unstable. So the base of this light well... That's the Lake of Souls. Yes. After the creation of the Nine Realms, fallen souls began to gather down in those waters. When the Elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. A smashing success, to say the least. Many of them became addicted to their newfound power. And thus, the Light Elves were born.
Though I imagine our Light Elf friends will be less than pleased. Speaking of Light Elves... Let me try talking to them again. They Best may... just to let these two do their thing, brother. One of those light bombs! Careful! came across on light bridges, but now the bridges are gone. I have an idea to get us across. <laughs> Lucky for us, swearing off violence doesn't mean he can't disfigure some architecture. This way, the shrine awaits. <laughs> Looking around. He does this sometimes. Ah, curious mind. Carry on. The temple looks so different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here. These elves use Alfheim's light to enhance the temple. And themselves, by the look of it. They definitely look more dangerous than last time. Oh, those were just the foot soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up we go. Great. So if these elves use the light to build doors and make themselves stronger, what do the Dark Elves want with it? To return it back to its source. To them, the natural resources of Alfheim are sacred. None more so than the light itself. Aye. The Light Elf's success came at a terrible price. Alfheim's once lively desert withered into a storm-ridden wasteland soon after the creation of this temple. There's more Twilight Stone up there. these poems. Oh, there's always meaning if you look hard enough, brother. It's all in what you bring to it.
Ja, ja. Oh there, friends. Salutations. We mean you no harm. Tear. Get back. Watch your way. Get it now. Why do they keep fighting? The Dark Elves want the souls and the light left alone. But the Light Elves want to keep using them. That's the long and short of it. Aye. So then, which side is right? Rarely is it so simple. And not our place to say. This is an Elven conflict. I said as much the last time we were in Alfheim. Right. Sure made a lot of these light doors. Mm. Fortifications. Aye, none too eager to let the dark elves run the roost again. Why not simply hold it in place? The angle looks right.
looks interesting. I don't think that's the way up to the shrine. We know. There's a chest over here. Oh, I see it now. Forgive my impatience. Oh, tricky. be a way to get your axe behind this crate, right? Oh, clever use of your axe, Kratos. Glad we explored. I'm to the small plane, you know. Do it then. Okay, I'm on one. Bon. Okay, so. Les objets à manivelle. Yeah, that looks right. Oh! Go! 
You're building quite the collection of poetry, brother. Why so surprised? My people are known for their culture. Not surprised. Esteem. I suppose I'll leave you to it. <laughs> On the other side. Whoa, Tyr can really jump. Getting the hang of it. I've never seen the light elves with so much control over the temple. Guess that's on us. They must have anointed a new temple guardian. Spartal Yoffer's counterpart. The Dark Elf King. Guess he's in the light now, too. <laughs> must be precise. See us. There's twilight stone on the ground. I wonder if we could use twilight stone against them. We can 
continue up this way. Father, over here. Je déjà arrêté, il fait une heure, ça fait une heure. Here they come. Do what you must. Straight ball of light coming your way. Statue, these crystals. I've noticed them on the elves as well. Oh, the crystals don't make light bridges. Now the light helps wear them. Smart. Almost there. Allow me. I dare say he's beginning to enjoy the vandalism. Pretty soon he'll be laying waste to pottery. Shall we continue? Well, at least we're getting closer. Look up. See? Feels even taller on the inside. I can't believe all this was down here. d'ici Allez, on va être là. C'est bien cool. <coughs> 